Hey guys, this is Hybrid here, and I'm here with a very special video, Character Bios Shazam. Now, you might be wondering, hey, why are Character Bios going on while Comic Book Versus are going on? Because I said when Comic Book Versus Season 3 started, that's when I'd be ending Character Bios, and when Season 3 ends, I'll restart Character Bios. And honestly, the reason is because I did not, mean and White Sheep did not communicate effectively with each other. So he went out of town for the July 4th weekend. I did not. I was planning on recording for um, the next comic book versus, which is Ultron vs. Cyborg Superman. But since I didn't, since we didn't tell each other ahead of time, kind of like, I was like, oh, so now I have to make a video. And I've gotten so many requests for character bios again. I'm so happy you guys enjoy it. Because really, it was like a hit or miss, really. I just had an idea, like, hey, what if I did bios on, like, characters, especially New 52 characters, so maybe people can get interested in the characters since a lot of their origins have changed and things like that. But so yeah, I'm really happy you guys enjoyed character bios. So I'm doing this kind of like a treat to you guys. Happy 4th of July, even though you'll be viewing this on the 5th of July, but whatever. Anyways, I just want to say character bios, Shazam. Really excited for this one personally, Shazam. My second favorite character, arguably my first considering how much Labdell has ruined Tim Drake right now. But... I still, pre New 52, Tim Drake holds the top number one spot in my heart. But, anyways, uh, they just finished the Shazam origin, so to speak. Uh, Jeff Johns finally, after like a year, has decided to conclude it. Thus, the origin is complete, and I can tell you guys all about it. So, his real name, William Batson. Obviously, he's called Billy for short, just like Richard, Dick, things like that. Uh, power, superhuman strength, speed, durability, stamina, flight, magic, electrokinesis, intellect, and willpower. Now, just so you guys know, I checked the DC website just to confirm this. Someone sent me the new meaning of the acronym for Shazam was the Genius of Solomon, Strength of Hercules, the Will of Atlas, the Lightning Bolts of Zeus, the Power of Achilles, and the speed of Mercury, which honestly, to me, I'm like power of Achilles, lightning bolts of Zeus, will of Atlas. What? But like, I can deal with genius of Solomon. That's the same thing as wisdom of Solomon, except for wisdom so sounds more of like you can analyze situation and process it more than genius just being you know everything. But anyways, um, yeah, how I feel about that really briefly before we move on. That sucks. I. I thought the, what it st stood for before was fine, which was Wisdom of Solomon, Strength of Hercules, the Stamina of Atlas, Power of Zeus, Courage of Achilles, and Speed of Mercury. Like, that was fine. I don't know why they had to change that, especially the Wisdom of Solomon to Genius of Solomon. Really? Why change that? Like, what's the point? It's the same thing, just different word. It doesn't even sound fancier either. It just sounds like they're like, hey, let's just change it to change it. But anyways, yeah, so I guess willpower is a power now. Go figure. But anyways, I, besides the stupid changing of the acronym, weaknesses, powerful opponents, magic, and experience. And I might as well just add also editors, because editors don't know how to write for crap pretty much. But yeah, I'm about to go in a mini rant there, sorry. So origins. Billy grew up in, a ver in various foster homes throughout Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Interesting change in New 52. Instead of Fawcett City, which is a homage, or homage, however you want to pronounce it, to where Captain Marvel slash Shazam, Shazam's original name was Captain Marvel, for one that doesn't know that, uh, Captain Marvel was originally a part of Fawcett Comics, but they, with a legal battle, DC Comics lost, because DC was more popular, and the whole basis essentially was that Shaz Captain Marvel was a ripoff of Superman. Even though Captain Marvel and you can quote me on this, was the first hero with flight. And, yeah, so, honestly, Superman kind of copied more off Captain Marvel, because back in the day, Captain Marvel was the superhero, all right? Like, Superman wasn't the superhero, it was Captain Marvel. He had the TV show, he had the merchandise, the really good-selling comic, and DC got jealous, they sued Fawcett Comics while they still had some sort of, like, I guess, edge, you could say, and they won. And... To kind of pay tribute to that history, they named the city Billy Batson lives in Fawcett City. But in New 52, they changed it to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Which I find interesting because I'm like, why would they 
you know, change that. What happened to Fossa City? But anyways, uh, after Bill, Billy's parents died, he became rude and almost... Like, basically, to anyone he met, like, any foster, potential foster parents, he was just plain rude to them, and he got sent back to an orphanage, which is basically where this ends off. Due to his attitude, he was put in an orphanage. I know I kind of typed this out of place, but yes, his parents did die, obviously, before he was put into foster homes. So, eventually, the Vasquez family comes, and they adopt Billy, which seems all nice, but obviously, Billy, being how he is, you know... He doesn't get along with the other kids, and he even gets into a fight at the new school he goes to. Uh, after the conflict with a few kids uh, that he got into a fight with at school later on in the day, he runs into the subway where all the magical stuff begins. So magically the subway takes Billy to the Rock of Eternity. There he meets the wizard, who bestows him the powers once... Sorry. The wizard gives Billy his powers once... Because um, at first when Billy goes there... Uh, the wizard's like, just like everybody else, you're not pure. Because the wizard is looking for someone of purity. Pure in the heart. That he knows from the get-go will do the right thing with, obviously, these magically awesome powers. But Billy gives him a lecture on how, you know, what the world isn't perfect. The world isn't pure. The world is impure. And after that speech, the wizard decides that instead of looking on the outside for, you know, purity and perfection... Let's look inside for great potential to do the, you know, the good that needs to be done. Because the mantle of Shazam is definitely much more heavier to bear than it was in, new, in the old pre-52 universe. Because in New 52, you have to not only, you know, fight the seven deadly sins, all that classic stuff, but you are the keeper of magic in this universe. You are literally, like, Dr. Fate is pretty much what Shazam is. Like, Shazam is Captain Marvel plus Dr. Fate in the New 52 because he is the keeper of magic and he is in charge of making sure magical things go correctly. Which is really interesting, actually. And if you didn't know, he has all the powers of the wizard, including... I'll, actually, I'll get into that more later in the power section of this video. But anyways, the wizard sees great potential in Billy Batson and gives Billy the living lightning, which is what they're calling magic in this comic. Now, after that, the wizard, like I just said, gives Billy the last of his powers, and Billy leaves. He meets with Freddy, one of his adoptive siblings, and they hang out throughout the city. You know, they get, they get like, a hamburger. They just kind of, like, chill out a little bit. Billy learns he can fly in the process. And this uh, obviously gets stopped when Black Adam, who recently gets released by Dr. Savannah, which, or you might notice, I'm not going into the whole subplot with Black Adam, how he gets released, things like that, because this is a focus on Shazam and his origins. But if you guys want me to, I will do an origin for Black Adam, if you guys want me to. I know j -War would love that, but for anyone out there, you want me to do an origin on Black Adam, because this new 52 origin is actually pretty interesting. I can perfectly do that. I'm just skipping over that, because I want to focus on Shazam, and covering Black Adam and Shazam would take way too much time that I want for this video. So Black Adam stops Billy and uh, Freddy from hanging out because he attacks Billy. So when Black Adam attacks Billy, Billy runs away and hides in fear and confusion of what's going on because he's really confused obviously. He doesn't know who Black Adam is. But eventually his adoptive siblings led by Freddy come to support Billy, kind of give him a pep talk and with that he gets the courage to confront Black Adam. Billy confronts Black Adam, leading to Black Adam actually attacking Billy through his adoptive family by taking them hostage. Using a spell, though, Billy shares the powers of Shazam with his family and they escape slash fight against Black Adam. With his adoptive family safe, Billy fights Black Adam. It's actually a pretty brief fight, I must admit, in the comic. I was hoping for more, but still entertaining in the process. You got some pretty cool panels. But anyways, Billy eventually tricks Black Adam into turning into his mortal form, which causes him to rapidly age into dust, thus defeating Black Adam. Now, the way he kind of tricks Black Adam into turning in, into his mortal form is he's like, you know what, Black Adam? Like, basically, I'm paraphrasing here, but he's like, Black Adam, let's fight mano to mano, man to man, no magic, just hand-to-hand -hand combat. And Black Adam's like, at first he's like, no, that's stupid, but then Billy's like, oh, you coward, you know. Like, look at me, say you can, you know, beat me man to man. Basically, paraphrasing, Billy uses Black Adam's kind of ego against him. And 
thus Black Angus defeated. Now, during this time, the Seven Deadly Sins are wreaking havoc everywhere, and it's a big mess throughout Philadelphia, but I'm not going into that, obviously, because like I said, I just focus on the Shazam stuff. But anyways, the public sees, or at least they associate, that Shazam defeated Black Adam, defeating the Seven Deadly Sins, even though the Seven Deadly Sins just ran away. But the public thinks Shazam defeated them all, which he technically did, thus they all call him by the one thing they know he said when someone asked about him, which was Shazam. And that's how Shazam became Shazam. Now his powers. I kind of went into what they mean now, the acronym, but just covering it over again. Billy gains superhuman strength, speed, durability, stamina, flight, magic, electrokinesis, intellect, and willpower when he says Shazam. So as you can see in that picture, he is exhibiting superhuman strength. And the picture in the middle, he's casting a spell using the lightning. That's how they're really they're really incorporating the lightning in this New 52 Shazam universe. But by saying Shazam, he can actually control what happens. Like, he can just randomly say Shazam and nothing happens. He can say Shazam and he turns back into Billy. He can say Shazam and cast a spell. So it's actually really flexible, the uses of that word. And then the picture all the way to the right, you see bullets don't even affect him. He actually got annoyed they were shooting him because it was ruining the kind of coat he was wearing. But, yeah, there you go. And there's also, I had, there's more panels because they showed all of his powers, kind of. Like, they showed superhuman speed and obviously speed of Mercury, so he's very fast. But hopefully you guys get the point. It's basically very similar to what it was in the old universe, pre-New 52. But just add more lightning into it and much more, uh, well, basically just add more lightning to it. And there you go. That's New 52 Shazam. Alright, so Shazam's weaknesses, though, are they're pretty basic, just like usually the other ones are. Powerful opponents, obviously, magic, and inexperience. Now, magic's going to be harder to beat him with, considering he basically is magic now in the DC Universe. But at the same time, if you're a powerful enough magician or magic based opponent like John Constantine I guess would be a good example or maybe Zatanna or someone like that you could probably harm Billy via magic obviously powerful opponents like I'm guessing they tease Superman and Shazam fighting I'm guessing they're not going to make Superman look like a total idiot in the fight so he's probably going to hurt Shazam somehow using brute force so there you go powerful opponents they're an experienced Billy just became Shazam, so he hasn't been doing it for years like some people have, thus an experience. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is character bias for Shazam. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry, uh, Comic Versus next week. Don't forget, next Friday. Uh, I'm very pleased with, uh, me and YG were very pleased with how the voting pool on Comic Vine turned out. So, yay Comic Vine. Glad to have found the new uh, poll website. And the community there is very active, I've noticed. Like, they, like we have uh, over 60 votes, like 65 or 66 is what we're at right now. And two pages of comments. So, awesome. But, yeah, so if you want to see any more character bios, I will, you know, I don't mind doing them at all. Just to know, it's hard for me to do them while I'm doing comic book verses because it takes a lot of time to do comic book verses. And the only reason I'm not doing character, I'm not doing comic book verses right now or I can do character bios, is because I'm not doing comic book verses, so, yeah, and sorry if I'm mumbling a bit, I'm doing this at, like, 3 a.m. in the mornings, I can't sleep, because I was doing all this editing work, and I was like, hey, I gotta get this done now, so, yeah, uh, please subscribe, comment, and like, I'll see you guys later, this is Hybrid, and Shazam!